Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and in this video we are going to learn how to edit multiple objects at the same time and how do we make sure which objects are being edited by us. So it's pretty simple. I have this uh, artboard with multiple shapes in different colors and different sizes. So all I need to do is I need to select this particular circle let's begin with this one to understand the concept and what do i mean by editing multiple shapes at the same time now if you will notice once i select any shape you will find these options on the top and at this for this tutorial we are interested in this one which says start editing similar shapes together now it has a, a tiny drop down with it in the corner and by default it will have this setting I'm sure maybe you will have a, some different setting but I think by default it will have both boxes unchecked so let's see how it works in a in a default way and then we will learn about these so I, I have um, unchecked both settings and now I will close it so we are talking about this one which says start editing similar shapes together so what does it mean I have selected this shape which is a circle in yellow color so if I click on this one you will notice there is some sort of blue box a blue container around all the circles in my artboard so everything is sort of selected and it's all in some mode so what's happening is now whatever change I make in this circle will get implemented on all the circles in my artboard so it's pretty cool so let's see how it goes I will reduce the size of this circle and you will see how all the circles have reduced in size in, uh, in the same way and I can uh, at any point I can exit this more by simply clicking on some white area so this is how simple it was now what if you have seen how I selected this one and when I uh, clicked on this one all circles got selected but what if I just want to make change in the yellow circles and I don't want to select the black ones what then so if we want to follow our filter in a, such a way that not just the shape but also the color should be uh, considered while uh, making this selection what I need to do is I will select this circle and I will go to this drop down and this time I will check the box of appearance once appearance is checked now if I will click on this one you will notice it has only selected the yellow circles and not the black ones and it will happen the same way for example if I pick this black star and now you know that the appearance setting is checked so if I click on this thing only the black circles are selected and the yellow ones are excluded even though they have the same shape and size but because they have a different color they are not included so it all depends on what uh, you want to change so if I reduce the size of this this star the other two will also get reduced to same extent so and again I will just click on white area to exit that mode so it was pretty simple now there is another setting which is let's uh, increase this particular circle in size okay so now just to uh, make you understand the third and final setting which is uh, let's pick this circle and again I will go to this drop down and this time I will also check the box of size now both of the options are checked now appearance and size appearance is making sure that the color should also be same in addition to the shape and now size will make sure that even the size should be same or similar to the one which is selected now once I will click on it it has only selected these two it has excluded even the yellow one even though it was the same shape it, it's a circle it has same color it's yellow still it is excluded based on its size so this is how you can filter out the shapes which are going to be included in this mode or for this feature so this is how you can uh, make changes uh, in it and based on your filters it will pick the object which will all 
get modified based on the modification you will make on the selected object now I will uncheck both of these and now it will again uh, behave normally which is it will uh, only consider the shape of the object while making decision of which objects are going to be modified with this one so this is a square I have selected it I will click on it and all squares will get selected and whatever change I make for example this time I will rotate it and all other squares will get rotated so this is pretty cool and uh, I'm sure uh, I don't know why but a lot of designers skip this feature or are not familiar with it they over this feature get overlooked by a lot of new designers but uh, I have found it a lot helpful in a lot of uh, projects of mine so I hope this video was helpful to you have a nice day and thank you